Last week was a very eventful week from the perspective of the interest rate outlook. You recall that the Westpac forecast at the moment is that the Reserve Bank will cut rates again in October and then again in February next year. So a total of two more rate cuts, pushing the cash rate down to 0.5%. Reserve Bank gave us some insight into their own thinking about the economy last week when they released their forecasts. Uh, they've lowered their growth forecast for 2019 from two and three quarter percent to two and a half. We think that's still too high. We think two and a quarter is more likely. And next year uh, they have two and three quarter percent. We think the economy will only be growing by about two and a half percent. But bear in mind that next year looks to be a better year than this year. Uh, and so we're more hopeful about the outlook for next year. On the unemployment story, the Reserve Bank l raised its unemployment forecast from 5% to 5.2% for this year and for next year. We think those numbers are a little low. We expect the unemployment rate to drift up to about 5.4% this year uh, and hold at that level next year. Back in May, we increased our outlook for interest rates and called three rate cuts. And of course, two of those have now been delivered, whereas the other banks were still uh, very much thinking in terms of a, a much lower, much different profile for interest rates. So our half a percent is now above where the other banks believe rates will be, but we feel quite confident that the, the situation is now in place for that to happen. Uh, the Reserve Bank Governor was also asked about whether he could push interest rates down to zero and uh, we don't think that's a likely prospect and he said look that might only happen if the whole of the world goes to zero which we don't expect to be the case. My view is that a much more effective policy would be uh, a series of direct loans to the banks who would be able to pass that a lot more effectively on to other borrowers. So things are still very much in flux at the moment but we're feeling reasonably comfortable that our outlook for two more rate cuts in this cycle looks to be the most likely outlook. Thank you.